What's up all my vaping friends and family of YouTube, Josh back once again with an e-liquid review for you. Alright, today we are going to be checking out this infamous juice. We got Philip Rock's Animal Collection or whatever. We got Looper. Alright. Um, I don't know why it says Formula LP3E or whatever it is, but um, Looper. That's what this is. Just like back in the day, uh, 2015, 2016, something like that, Looper was invented. And to this date, uh, the hype says that this is the best, if not the only, spot on fruit circle cereal vape with milk. Um, I've had a few different types of that flavor um, and in the past it's never a good experience uh, this flavor is a very complicated and hard it's 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 really difficult to actually make one that tastes really good um, most of them they taste good when you you try it on your finger it'll it'll have all the right fruity notes and and seem like it's legit pebbles or loops but it never is when you vape it it's like vaping floor cleaner and just tastes like some really nasty lemon uh, there aren't many that even come close to doing it even okay uh, we're gonna find out if this is just hype or if Looper is legit the best fruity circle cereal vape with milk. Okay, so before we get into all the vape and shit, we picked up a Looper from Philip Rock uh, on westcoastvapesupply.com. For $13.99, they also have a two-pack deal where you get 120 milliliters for $24.99. You save like three bucks. Not bad. All right. You know what the description is. It's supposed to be Fruit Loops and milk. So we're going to do our finger taste test. And it's a yellowish clear e-liquid. Now on the finger, I get a lot of that that same old fruity cereal vibe, like that one that like sticks out with like the little orange and lemon. Um, not overpowering. It's a decent amount of sweetness. I'm picking up the creamy note, just a hint on the taste on the finger. Um, the cereal, I do get a cereal like I don't know it's just a hint though like on on the taste buds like just a hint of like a cereal taste uh, overall it tastes like what it says it does now if it vapes the same way I don't know about that but we have a was it a Tricor Alien I got from Watofo they own out at a point two um, it's all nichrome. I believe it's three strands of 26 gauge with like 38 on the outside. Really nice coils and not very expensive. I, I picked up 10 of them from Element Vape for like $9.99 or something like that. That's a buck an alien, okay? And they look almost as good as some of the handcrafted ones you find out there for $12 just for one coil or $20 for just one coil. I mean, they're not perfect. And some of them were a little shitty, like some of the wraps were fucked up or whatever. But for how good they actually do look, 10 bucks, even if you got one really good coil for $10 when it comes to this type of alien, no complaints. Um, even the ones that are a little fucked up, I'm still using them. I, the, the flavor really doesn't change based on, you know, a couple of wraps being fucked. So, 
All right, we got it loaded up in the Theseus RDA sitting on top of the Tesla SIG Steampunk 86 watt single battery tube mod. Um, 60 watts on a point two. Let's fucking, let's get it. That's a lot better than what I tasted on my finger. I can tell you that for sure. The vape is a whole different type of animal. A whole different flavor altogether than what you just taste on your finger. And that's where I think a lot of juice companies go wrong. What you taste on your finger it translates to something different in the vape. Or what you should taste on your finger is what you end up tasting on the vape. Sometimes it gets all fucked up, like you don't taste the same thing no matter what. It definitely transforms in the RDA. I'm getting that fruity cereal, like Fruit Loops. Um, it's toned down in the vape to where it's manageable. It's not like lemon in your face or orange in your face. You get like a nice little combination where it doesn't taste like floor cleaner. It tastes like motherfucking Fruit Loops. Okay. Then beyond that, the finishing notes are where it's at. That's my favorite part. The exhale is the creaminess and the cereal. Like just a bowl of milk that's just had Fruit Loops dissolved in it. That's like the finish on this. It's a super nice, nice vape definitely something I can vape all day. It's not super, super sweet, and it's not underpowering at all. It's literally the most perfect balance of sweetness I have ever had in a vape. And I'm not just sucking nuts here. Like, I had no intentions of getting this juice, but I, I keep watching DIY or Die, and then I see that somebody tried to do a Looper clone, and I'm like, what the fuck is Looper? I had never heard of Looper until like a month and a half ago. So people keep talking about it on DIY or Die, and it pumped me up. I'm like, you know what? They keep saying it's the best fucking Fruit Loops vape that you can get. We're gonna find out, and we're gonna fucking post a video because I'll call people on their bullshit. I, I don't believe anybody until I try it, okay? You could tell me something's good doesn't mean I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it is. No, it's, it's not good until I know it's good, okay? And I don't want to sound self-absorbed or like I'm the end-all be-all here. My taste buds might be different from yours, but I definitely really like this. It is definitely the closest to a Fruit Loops vape with milk I've ever had and it does not turn me off whatsoever. Like, because of the other ones that I had tried before that all sucked, I literally didn't want to even vape a cereal, fruity cereal vape ever again because they just, they all suck. Looper is legit. So $13.99 at West Coast Vape Supply, you can pick this up. I'd say it's worth it all day. I would get the two-pack deal, 120 mils for $24.99 worth it. I don't even pay that much for juice anymore, but this stuff is actually really good, and I could vape this all day, every day. Definitely going in rotation. Alright, so we're going to take another rip. We're going to do our 0 to 5s on the sweetness, on the description, and then my overall 0 to 10 on the uh, how much I enjoy it, how much I don't like it or do like it, and whether I recommend it or not on a 0 to 10 scale, if I didn't already say that. So, uh, yeah, let's take another rip, 60 watts, same deal. Yeah, it's almost magical. It really is, it's almost a magical flavor. Those fucking loops and that cream and that cereal note just nice. It's refreshing to have a juice that tastes this good. Like, everything else that I've been trying lately has just been okay. Like, 
I haven't been doing a lot of reviews, but I've been vaping different stuff off camera that it just isn't wowing me. I'm like having to modify shit, add my own sweetener, and it, it, it shouldn't be that way. You should get what you like exactly the way it should be done. Like exactly taste like it should, all that stuff. Otherwise, don't put the shit on the fucking market. That's how I feel about it. If it doesn't have at least a good enough amount of sweetness in it that you enjoy it, then don't fucking bother. So, yeah, this is great. All right, so zero to five on the sweetness. Zero not being sweet at all, five being excessively sweet. I'm gonna put it at a four. Four and a half is usually my perfect zone, but for this type of juice, a four is definitely perfect for the amount of sweetness. It's not like in your fucking face sweet. It's like, wow, that's nice. That is nice. Like when someone gets your coffee just right with the perfect amount of sugar. Just right. Okay. Zero to five on the description. Zero not being anything like Fruit Loops and milk. Or five being spot on. It's absolutely a five all day long. This is the closest and the best Fruit Loops, fruity cereal, whatever, and milk that I've ever had. Overall, on a 0 to 10, 0 being the worst thing I've ever had, or 10 being the best fucking thing I've ever vaped. Because my profile doesn't really include fruity cereal, it's going to be a 9.5. Almost a perfect 10. I, anything over a 7 is a recommendation. Anything under a 7 is at your own risk. If you do not like something that I have recommended and you buy it and you hate it, do not come bitch at me. We may have different palettes altogether. But if you do like something that I recommend, then maybe you can get something good out of this channel. And I would appreciate you to subscribe, leave a comment, and like the video. And uh, yeah, that about wraps it up. Definitely worth a shot. If you've been disappointed by fruits, fruit cereal vapes in the past, definitely worth a shot to try this. And that's going to be it. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching Chasing Clouds and Flavor Reviews. We're going to get one more rip. We're going to get the fuck out of here. Stay cloudy. Stay cloudy.